5 EV tolls that will soon hit our skies, electric flying cars. 1. Suzuki SkyDrive SD20, 2025 Dubbed SD20, the EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft will be unveiled at this year's World Expo in Osaka. Suzuki says they will work together with SkyDrive on the design of production and the selection of mass production systems, as well as on technological research and development. This vehicle has a relatively small footprint, just 4 meters long, 3.5 meters wide and 1.5 meters high. The two-seater has eight propellers, which allow it to fly at a speed of 20 kilometers, 500 meters above the ground. Launched in 2018, SkyDrive is backed by technology companies including Toyota, Fujitsu and Panasonic. In addition to insurance companies, the company is also working closely with the Japanese government to realize its air taxi vision. In addition, the partnership will provide an opportunity for Suzuki, one of the country's leading car and motorcycle manufacturers, to expand its own business. Unlike traditional EVTOL aircrafts that need to take off and land in fixed locations, the SD20 will allow pilots to land and then actually drive away. The vehicle's relatively small footprint helps make that possible, it's just 13 feet long, 11.5 feet wide and 5 feet tall. The two-seater features eight propellers that help it fly 1,640 feet above ground at 62 miles per hour, for 12 miles. There's also a more efficient cruise speed option of 37 miles per hour for up to 20 miles. Lilium Jet, 2025. German EVTOL developer Lilium has extended its type certification timeline, stating that the company is now targeting 2025 to receive certification for the Lilium Jet EVTOL aircraft. Lilium is developing a six passenger EVTOL aircraft for air taxi services, as well as a four passenger club cabin for elite private buyers. The company said the aircraft can also be reconfigured for cargo delivery services. In February, Lilium reported that it is working to finalize an agreement with US-based private aviation group NetJets to purchase rights for 150 Lilium jets. The companies are discussing terms under which the fractional ownership and charter group might market the aircraft to private owners and also become an operating partner for Lilium's planned service network. It already has a provisional operating partnership agreement with Europe-based business aviation group Lux Aviation. Last year, Brazilian airline Ozul signed a provisional purchase agreement for 220 Lilium jets. It plans to launch a network of domestic flights with these in 2025. Lilium's suppliers include established aerospace companies such as avionics and propulsion group Honeywell, Asaturi, and battery specialist Custom Cells. Zeva Zero, 2024. Zeva, which stands for Zero Emissions Electric Vertical Aircraft, launched in 2017 and initially was developing its Zero EVTOL to compete in Boeing's GoFly competition. Zeva Zero is a new prototype aircraft called Z2, the new design is expected to be faster, more efficient, and more compact, and the US startup says it is working to add autonomous flight capabilities. Zaver's Z2 prototype is a zero-emissions, single-occupant EVTOL designed for a variety of applications, including personal transportation, emergency response, search and rescue, law enforcement, and cargo deliveries. It's an optocopter, it has eight motors, four on the top plane, four on the bottom plane. Each one is optimized for its position. Its inventor's vision foresees a flight craft capable of taking off vertically from a skyport on the side of a building or from the ground, before transitioning to a forward flight mode. 
the pilot gets in standing up and his head goes up there and he's got a very nice view out the front. It takes off vertically and then flies forward at 160 miles per hour, basically in Superman mode. Volocopter Voloconnect 2026. The Voloconnect asterisk is a lift and cruise aircraft optimized for missions beyond the urban and suburban space. Keeping moving parts to a minimum, its six rotors facilitate vertical takeoff, while two electric fans in combination with uplift creating wings ensure high forward speeds. The Voloconnect asterisk prototype is currently being put through a demanding series of flight tests to verify that the aircraft and its systems are in line with the performance limits and prepared for the subsequent development steps. In October 2022 the Volo Connect was renamed and is now called the Volo Region. The Volo Region is an electrically powered aircraft that can take off and land vertically, EVTOL. It is being developed by the German company Volocopter. The concept of the Volo Connect was presented first on May 17, 2021, at the Abase Connect Conference, too. The prototype was developed within two years in Munich under the direction of Chief Engineer Sebastian Moores. So far, only scaled-down prototypes have been tested in flight. The certification SCVTOL Enhanced, 1093 shall be reached within the next five years. The Volo region will be linked to the Volocopter software platform Volo IQ. The Volo region has a multi-rotor system. It uses a hybrid lift and push design with a purely electric drive. It's equipped with eight individual motors, six of which are connected to free propellers generate the lift and two to ducted propellers providing the forward thrust. Manta ANN 2026. The ANN-2 is a two-passenger aircraft used for regional air mobility and cargo service where VTOL and high-speed forward flight is needed. The company states their aircraft can take off and land vertically, and with its canard wings, the aircraft can take off and land on very short runways and achieve high speeds during forward flight. By using a hybrid electric power system, Using a turbine engine to produce electricity for the electric motors and onboard batteries, the aircraft can carry a higher payload and have a longer range. The hybrid electric version can also recharge the batteries during flight. Manta Aircraft was formed in June 2019 by a group of European entrepreneurs. It is based in northern Italy. The company is in the early stages of developing a pair of light hybrid electric aircraft that it describes as VTOL, STOL. These include the two-seat ANN-2 and the four-seat ANN-4, as well as a high-performance drone. Plans call for the propulsion system to transition to all electric or hydrogen power as the technology behind these options advances. The ANN-2 is intended for personal transportation, as well as roles such as law enforcement, disaster control, and emergency medical support. The ANN-4 is aimed at commercial air taxi and other business aviation applications, as well as potentially for freight deliveries and various special missions roles. On December 9, 2020, Manta made a short first flight with a one-third scale model of the ANN-2. It aims to start testing a full-scale prototype in 2022, and be ready for the pre-production phase by the end of 2023, with a view to achieving type certification and service entry in 2025. Early drawings of the all-composite aircraft show a V-shaped tail, a main fixed wing and a forward canard. A hybrid propulsion system consists of an unspecified engine with electric motors driving eight ducted fans, with four of these installed in the wing and the other four in the fuselage. The aircraft is intended to be used in either vertical takeoff mode or for more range in short takeoff and landing environments. 
Based in Sesto Caland, Italy, Manta Aircraft is a design and manufacturing company of hybrid electric vertical short takeoff and landing, HEV, STOL aircraft for regional air mobility, RAM. The company is only working a hybrid electric power source for their aircraft based on the goal of providing a long-range high-speed, point-to-point aircraft. When battery technology matures allowing the aircraft to have high speeds and a long range, is when the company will be able to switch over to an all-electric VTOL aircraft. The name ANN, in the model name, is a tribute to Marcassini's partner Annalisa Serracono who passed away in 2019. Serracono was an accomplished glider pilot and loved the Manta aircraft project, so Marcassini's friends and colleagues decided to name their aircraft ANN, in her memory. The company is designing their aircraft using computational fluid dynamics CFD software for all aspects of their aircraft, including but not limited to flight dynamics, flight controls, and its power source. The company plans to sell their aircraft to the consumer, to businesses, and to the government.